takers, gents. That's what we do for a living. We take. Takers is a 2010 crime action thriller movie that hits U.S. theaters on Friday, August 27, 2010. Takers stars Matt Dillon as a detective who's determined to catch a group of expert bank robbers before they pull off their next big heist. Takers is co-written and directed by John Lusenhop. It also stars Paul Walker, Jay Hernandez, Hayden Christensen, Marianne Jean-Baptiste, Zoe Saldana, Michael Ely, rapper Tip T.I. Harris, and singer Chris Brown. Reviews for Takers began coming out several days before the movie's release. Overall, the reviews for Takers were poor to average, with the film garnering a 44% rating on Rotten Tomatoes' Tomato Meter and scoring a 43 on Metacritic. Critic Betsy Sharkey of the Los Angeles Times says while there are a few plot twists that are kinda cool, there's really not enough in Takers to make it worth your time. Steve Ramos of Box Office Magazine says what salvages Takers are the unintentional laughs generated by the film's outrageous gun battles, childish dialogue, and an action chase featuring Chris Brown that seems to go on forever. Despite the lukewarm scores, a handful of critics did find a few good things to say about Takers. Stephen Farber of The Hollywood Reporter praised the action scenes in the movie, saying that the stunt work is amazing and the pace is breathless enough to keep one watching right up to the somewhat ambiguous conclusion. Brian Lowry of Variety called Takers a respectable but watered-down heist movie that would likely appeal to a young male, predominantly urban audience looking for some modest late summer mayhem. Michael Phillips of the Chicago Tribune said Takers is noisy and unsubtle, but it gets the job done. Among the majority of critics who did not seem to be taken with Takers, some said the movie lacked substance. USA Today critic Claudia Poeg called Takers cliched and laughable, adding that it's a film far more concerned with style, architectural, vehicular, and wardrobe related than substance. But as Entertainment Weekly critic Adam Markovitz points out, at least they do look sharp in those suits. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.